Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. Hi, energetic learners. Wish you a very great day from Dr. A. Vijayamudameri, Professor, Department of Computer Science and Engineering, Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. Today, in this video lecture, we are going to discuss the fundamentals of algorithmic problem solving. What is an algorithm? An algorithm is defined as a finite sequence of steps for carrying out a particular task. Let us learn the facts on algorithm. The term algorithm was first invented by a Persian mathematician, Khwarizmi, and he invented the term algorithm. He used to solve the second order equation. He also invented algebra. He was not only a mathematician, but also a philosopher and an astronomer. So before going into the topic, let us see the disadvantages of the algorithm too. So it's a challenging task to understand complex logic problems through algorithms. So that is the only disadvantage of an algorithm. Now let us learn the fundamentals of algorithmic problem solving. All the algorithms must satisfy some criteria. That is each and every algorithm should have an input, output, it should be definite, it should be finite and it should be an effective algorithm. So the first one is input, an algorithm should have zero or more quantities of input. And then the second one is output, so every algorithm should give a desired value as output, it should give some end result. The third one is definiteness, that is each and every step of the algorithm should be crystal clear and it should not be vague. It should be unambiguous. Finiteness, so that is an algorithm should have a terminating point after a finite sequence of steps. So an algorithm should terminate after a finite sequence of steps. So that is finiteness. Then effectiveness, the degree to which the algorithm is successful in producing a desired result. So that is called the effectiveness of an algorithm. So the algorithm should satisfy all these criteria. So next we are going to learn the steps in designing an algorithm. So it is given through a flowchart. These are the steps in designing an algorithm, understanding the problem, decide on the computational means, designing an algorithm, proving the correctness, analyzing the algorithm and then coding the algorithm. So let us see these steps one by one. So the first and foremost step in designing an algorithm is understanding the problem. So given a problem, it should be understood completely. It should be understood clearly. So that is the very first step. So after understanding the problem, check if the problem is similar to some existing ones. If so, uh, that's not a problem. Otherwise, you have to devise a new algorithm. So the second step is find the capabilities of the computational device. So once the problem is understood, you have to find the capabilities of the computational device. So this is done by knowing the type of architecture, the speed and memory availability of the device. And the third one is after the algorithm is devised, it is necessary to show that it computes answer for all the possible inputs. So either it will give an exact solution or it will give you an approximate solution. So the fourth point is deciding on the data structures. So data structures play a very important role in designing and analyzing the algorithm. So some of the uh, data structures which are commonly used are array, stack, linked list, tree, graph, etc. So the next one is algorithm and design techniques. So once you are aware of the algorithmic design techniques, it will become easier for you to design an algorithm. So some of the algorithm design techniques are greedy technique, divide and conquer approach, dynamic programming, etc. And the sixth step is proving correctness. So correctness has to be proved for every algorithm. So a good technique for proving correctness is by mathematical induction. So if the correctness is not proved, that is if it is incorrect, then you have to go back to the previous step, redesign the algorithm, but with the same decisions of data structure and design techniques. The seventh step is analyzing the algorithm. The algorithm can be analyzed in two ways. 
one is by computing the time efficiency and the other is by computing the space efficiency. So, space efficiency indicates how much space the algorithm requires and the time efficiency indicates how fast an algorithm executes. So, this is the last step that is coding the algorithm. So, this is programming the algorithm using some programming languages. So, formal verification should be done for small programs and validity should be done by testing and debugging. So, we know that the inputs should fall within a range and hence the inputs require no verification. So, nowadays uh, the modern compilers come with code optimization option which can speed up a program by a constant factor. So, let us see an example of an algorithm and we are going to uh, analyze the steps in designing and analyzing the algorithm. So, this is the algorithm for binary search. So, first we will initialize the variables, obtain the input array, we will calculate the midpoint. So, the midpoint is calculated by this formula that is low plus high divided by 2. Compare the midpoint to the target element. If the midpoint is equal to the target element, then return the index of the midpoint. If it is lesser than target, then the target must be in the right half of the array. So, you have to adjust the low pointer. Suppose if the midpoint is greater than the target element, then it should be in the left half of the array. So, you have to adjust the high pointer. So, these steps 3 and 4 are to be repeated until the target element is found or while low pointer is greater than high pointer. Of course, that is the terminating point for this algorithm. Then we are returning the result. So, if the target element is found, return the index mid. If the target element is not found, then you have to return minus 1. So, given this problem, that is the problem of finding the binary search, first understand the problem, okay? then find the capabilities of the computing device. The third one is this algorithm will give you an exact solution. So, that is the third step. And the fourth step is decide on data structures. So, the binary search requires an input array. It works on array. So, the data structure needed for this binary search is array. And the fifth step is decide on the algorithmic design technique. So, the binary search works by partitioning the input array into two halves according to the middle element. So, the algorithmic design technique needed for binary search is divide and conquer approach. So, the next step is analyzing the algorithm. So, while analyzing the algorithm, you have to find the space complexity and time complexity. So, the space complexity for this binary search is big O of 1 for iterative approach and if you go for a recursive approach, it is big O of log n because it, uh, less variables are required and these variables also need constant space. So, it is big O of 1 for iterative approach. So, the time complexity is also big O of 1. So, then we are going to coding the algorithm. So, thank you for listening the class patiently. We will meet you in the next video lecture. Thank you once again.